You're listening to the Chapter a Day Audio Bible. I'm John Stonge, and today we're in Isaiah chapter 55, and we'll be reading from the New English Translation. Hey, all who are thirsty, come to the water. You who have no money, come, buy and eat. Come, buy wine and milk without money and without cost. Why pay money for something that will not nourish you? Why spend your hard-earned money on something that will not satisfy? Listen carefully to me and eat what is nourishing. Enjoy fine food. Pay attention and come to me. Listen so you can live. Then I will make an unconditional covenantal promise to you, just like the reliable covenantal promises I made to David. Look, I made him a witness to nations, a ruler and commander of nations. Look, you will summon nations you did not previously know. Nations that did not previously know you will run to you because of the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, for He bestows honor on you. Seek the Lord while He makes Himself available. Call to Him while He is nearby. The wicked need to abandon their lifestyle and sinful people their plans. They should return to the Lord, and He will show mercy to them, and to their God, for He will freely forgive them. Indeed, my plans are not like your plans, and my deeds are not like your deeds. For just as the sky is higher than the earth, so my deeds are superior to your deeds, and my plans superior to your plans. The rain and snow fall from the sky and do not return, but instead water the earth and make it produce and yield crops, and provide seed for the planter and food for those who must eat. In the same way, the promise I make does not return to me, having accomplished nothing. No, it is realized as I desire and is fulfilled as I intend. Indeed, you will go out with joy, you will be led along in peace. The mountains and hills will give a joyful shout before you, and all the trees in the field will clap their hands. Evergreens will grow in place of thorn bushes, firs will grow in place of nettles. They will be a monument to the Lord, a permanent reminder that will remain. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you for your word, and we thank you for the privilege to be able to look at this portion of Scripture and be reminded of your goodness and your care and your provision for your people. Lord, we know that you are the source of true nourishment. Through faith in your Son, Jesus Christ, our souls find satisfaction. Our souls find peace. We find what we're craving, what we're longing for, and it can be only supplied by you. So, Lord, thank you for what you do for us. Thank you for calling us unto yourself. Thank you for the love that you show us continually. And thank you for being one who keeps his promises, who does not violate his nature, and who cannot lie. We're grateful for all of these things, and we're grateful, Lord, that your word reminds us of this truth. We pray this all in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you again for listening to the Chapter a Day Audio Bible. To download a free digital copy of my latest 30-day devotional, Desire Jesus, Volume 9, please visit us online at desirejesus.com.